for a driver. There is nothing more satisfying than catching the car from big slide and save the day. I'm sure 99.999% of you experience that beautiful emotional feeling going sideways around the corner intentionally or by incident. And maybe not everyone out there is big fan of rallying, but definitely most of you love going out from the apex with opposite steering block. It just makes you feel as a king controlling those beautiful machines against the gravity and physics. Forgive me if I am too romantic. I just love to play with weight transfers and make those 5-600 horsepower monsters obey my inputs. You mostly see me driving road cars in this channel, but rally driving is my real passion and today I want to show you beautiful hydraulic handbrake which is important part of the experience and the most hot spot between the car and me in that romantic relationship. See Magic are going nuts with the last gen wheels, pedals, shifters and handbrake but this beauty is on completely different level in comparison to the first one. If you hate the company or love it, one thing is for sure, those guys are constantly pushing the boundaries and because of them we are getting better products for better prices from every company as everyone must try harder and we all benefit from that. They really set new standards on the market. Let's see what this kit really is, how is it built, what can do and how it feels. So, full aluminum body from the handle to the body core to the cover of the load cell and the electronics. I really don't know if you can get that feeling from the video, but I'm personally every time surprised when I get some magic product in my hands. Sometimes I'm questioning myself if I keep too low expectations or they really do outstanding products for way better prices. I know some of you are some magic users and I really want to know if my mind play with me or that happens to you when you open their boxes. I wasn't big fan at all in their first gen gear aesthetics even if the quality was always there but something have changed and every next product is more complex and in my subjective opinion greater design. <laughs> well, some magic. I will send you my bank account to pay me for that commercial time. Jokes aside, I don't know for the rest of the world, but I personally appreciate a lot the evolution. The handle is kind of soft rubber, which is something I see and feel first time in Levier and I will stay with neutral opinion about that as I haven't found it more or less comfortable and I guess it doesn't even matter to me as I use gloves and pull it in just one direction. The material have good grips anyway with gloves and without and I guess some people will like the soft and warm feeling in touch and other won't. It is interesting and different choice for which I personally don't see any negative or benefits. It will be up to us to decide if we like it or not but if for some reason don't like it or want to put something different is possible, just standard trade. Now, the big deal is the hydraulic system. This looks very much like the one they use in the new P1000 pedals mechanically with slight design differences to fit in this project and basically the main body piston compressed the liquid from the fluid container which compress another piston in this part here and with different choice of elastomers which comes with the kit will create different feeling in compression. All this system is responsible for the feeling only as it determines how the levy air is moving and the main body is attached straight to the load cell and will apply that progressive input. 
very clever and way more compact design than the usual one we see with all the tubing around and in my opinion and some other P2000 users feels better which of course is just subjective statement anyway. With the elastomer kit we can create all kind of different feeling but if you want to go for realism hydraulic handbrakes are very progressive in use. The position and the mounting solutions are very cool too. The levee can be set horizontally and vertically with two slots on each position for further adjustment. Just make sure to keep the liquid container up. There is very subtle play in the hydraulic system because of the way it's attached to the load cell but with little preload of the piston is almost gone and the rest of the pivot points they use ball bearing just like in the P1000 and it's rock solid. Let's talk now about the crazy feature we see first time on handbrake which in my opinion is totally unnecessary but can be fun. This beauty is equipped with the haptic motor controller and the necessary adapter to mount one. I found that not many really understood the difference between the rumble motors and those haptics. Rumble motors create just buzzing vibration effect which can be achieved from those haptics as well if used in high frequency but if we set those to 10-14 Hz they can create kicks and be felt really strong. Using one of those for ABS feedback on my pedals totally changed my sim world. Don't make the mistake to compare rotating motor with shifted center of gravity with actual heavy rubber hitting up and down to different worlds. But how those can be helpful on handbrake? For now the pedal's haptic motors can be controlled in the SimMagic software as ABS, traction control and bite point but they are also implemented in the SimHub with tons of other effects. The handbrake is not implemented yet but I'm sure it's coming soon and can be set only as a real tire lock in the SimPro manager but is there any real benefit from those effects in action? Let's first see how I use handbrake in my driving technique. To fully utilize this style of driving, the car must be prepared with correct weight transfer and just on the edge of the direction change where the tires are fully loaded and car pointed in the direction we want to slide. For a split of the second, we pull the handbrake just to lose the back grip and slide the car. In real car, the last thing we want to do is keep the tires locked and create a flat spot. It is all about timing of different inputs without pulling the edge brake for ages. That being said, the way I pull the handbrake, that motor can't even react. So, from driving point of view for rear locks, I don't see any benefits. However, when it's implemented in the sim hub, I will choose traction loss effects, which can give a bit more extensive feedback while going sideways around the corner, but it will be just for fun experience. Also, the placement of the motor is not very optimized as it is in the pedals where I can feel it very strong even a 20% gain because it hits against my feet directly and here is set on the back and makes more noise than actual feeling. There is some fun factor in the experience but I personally don't find real use except for a little more immersion if set different effects in the future. The good part is this is a upgradable kit and up to us if we want that extra step. Even if I personally don't see that specific feature to shine with huge success in the handbrake world as it does on the pedal which changed totally my racing experience. I really appreciate the fact they try to be creative and bring something new to the experience. The age brake however is absolute but will cost. It is still logical price considering the hydraulic system but it is product for 
specific enthusiasts. 369 before tax is not much for that quality product, but money have different meaning for all of us. If you are a rally driver or drifter and you pull the stick all the time, this kit will not just lock your rear tires, but will make your rig look really cool. Sorry guys, I sound so biased, but I love that kit for so many reasons. Anyway, my goal with this video is to show you this new product and give you my first impressions, which as you can see are really good and we'll make another one after some more extensive use to check how it does under heavy load. Let's burn some tires. <laughs> 